Ever fix something simple? Swap a sensor, tighten a vacuum leak, or even throw in a brand new battery? Only to fire it up and that stubborn check engine light laughs right back at you. Frustrating, right? I see this all the time in the shop. The truth is, before you spend a dime on a mechanic to diagnose it, there's a free reset trick that can clear that light in minutes. In fact, experts at Ansel say disconnecting the battery for 15 to 30 minutes is the sweet spot to fully reset the ECU's memory. Today, I'll show you exactly how long to leave your battery disconnected to reset the ECU, how to do it safely, and the pro shortcuts most drivers have never even heard of and if you want more car saving tips like this, hit that subscribe so you don't miss the next fix that can save What is ECU? Think of your car's ECU like its brain. It controls fuel, spark, idle, and even emissions. And just like your phone or computer, sometimes it needs a hard reboot to clear the glitches. I had a car in the shop once, a perfectly good sedan, but it was running like it was drunk. The idle was all over the place. The throttle felt lazy, and the owner thought he needed a new sensor. Instead, all it took was a simple ECU reset. Once the system relearned, it smoothed right out. That's the kind of difference a reset can make. Now that you know the ECU is basically your car's brain, let me show you why hitting reset can make such a big difference. Why a reset actually works. Your car's computer holds on to old codes even after you fix the problem. A reset clears that junk memory so the ECU stops chasing ghosts. I've seen it countless times replace a bad O2 sensor. But the check light stays on until you reset. It also helps the engine relearn fuel, idle, and timing. I've had customers complain about rough idle or lazy throttle after a new battery or sensor swap. Resetting the ECU smoothed it right out. It's one of the simplest, cheapest ways to get your car running right again. Alright, so the big question everyone asks. How long do you actually leave the battery off to make this work? How long should you leave the battery disconnected? Most people just want the straight answer. How long do you actually leave the battery off? At a bare minimum, give it about 15 minutes. That's enough time for the capacitors in the ECU to drain out the leftover charge and wipe short-term memory. Think of it like holding down a power button on a gadget, until all the lights finally fade. Same deal here with your car's brain. For newer cars, I usually go closer to 30 minutes. Why? Some systems hang on to residual power longer, and you want a full reset, not a half-done one. If you cut it short, you might still see codes or glitches stick around. So if you're not in a rush, wait it out. The extra time ensures the main time frame really does its job. Knowing the time is one thing, but doing it the right way is where most DIYers mess up. Here's the safe step-by-step -step. quick pause. If this tip's helping you, tap that like button, it really helps the channel. And subscribe if you want more shop tricks that save you money. The exact reset process. Do this safely. Here's where most DIYers slip up. Resetting the ECU isn't complicated, but there's a right way and a wrong way. And I've seen too many people learn the hard way with sparks and fried fuses. Here's the safe step-by-step. -step. 1. Shut it down completely. Turn the car off and pull the key. Skipping this can cause sparks. Disconnect the negative cable first. Always start with negative, then move to positive. 3. Wait 15-30 minutes. Give the system time to drain out every last bit of charge. 4. Reconnect positive first, then negative. Reverse order on the way back. Start the car and let it idle. Don't hit the road right away. Give the ECU a few minutes to relearn. Once it's idling smoothly, ease it into a drive. That short relearn period is the step most DIYers miss. But it's the secret that makes the reset really stick. That's the standard method. But here's where the mechanic tricks come in faster. Safer ways most people don't even know about. Pro tips and alternative reset methods. Here's where the real pro tips come in. The stuff most YouTube videos never mention. You don't always have to yank the battery cables. On some cars you can just pull the ECU fuse instead which is cleaner and quicker. Or grab an OBD2 scanner for a faster, safer reset. That's what we do in the shop when time matters. And here's a neat trick. Certain models have an accelerator pedal sequence that acts like an alternative reset. Pretty slick when it works. 
But no matter which method you use, the key is what you do after you've got to drive gently for about 20 to 50 miles. So the ECU relearns properly. That's the real value. The differentiator between just clearing codes and getting your car running smooth. Ever tried one of these lesser known methods before? Sounds great so far, right? Well, before you run off, there are a few downsides you should know about. The hidden downsides nobody tells you. Here's the part most people don't think about. You will lose your radio presets, clock and even seat memory every time you do a full reset. Yep. All erased. You'll have to set it again. Small stuff, but still annoying if your car had everything dialed in just the way you like it. The bigger downsides. Your emissions readiness gets wiped too. That means the car won't pass smog until the full drive cycle completes. And that can take a while. And remember, a reset won't magically fix mechanical issues. A bad part is still a bad part. I'm just laying it out straight. Because viewer trust matters. This is all about balancing real-world expectations. And here's the most important part. Sometimes a reset just won't cut. Let me share a story from the shop. When a reset won't help. Here's a quick story for you. I had a guy roll into the shop. Convinced a simple reset would fix his car. He'd been pulling the battery cable over and over. Hoping that blinking light would just go. The misfire was still there though. Turned out it was a bad coil. And no you can't just erase that problem with a reset. As a mechanic I give this warning so people don't waste time or blame a video when the real issue needs parts. Not tr Sharing this builds authority and prevents confusion. Final thoughts. So here's the bottom line. Resetting your car's computer by pulling the battery is simple. Free. And it can save you from paying a shop just to clear codes. But remember it's not magic. If a part's bad no reset in the world will fix it. If this little trick helped, do me a favor hit that like button, so more drivers can find it. And subscribe if you want more real shop tips, that'll keep your car running smooth without draining your wallet. Now before you head out to the driveway, tell me in the comments, have you ever tried resetting your ECU before?